because the black consumer wants to see black. He doesn't want to see light skin. And for Pat, are you black enough? Well, I've been, well, <clears throat> um, let's say if there was someone who was to apply for the same job that I was applying for, and let's say I was there, then she, then chances are if we had, she had the same qualifications as myself, maybe she would get the job because, as Ellen stated, uh, they are looking for someone who is obviously black as but, opposed to someone who is, say, questionable. But with Ebony, they have a smattering. They have dark to brown to reddish tones and white girls, and they have people from all over the country, too, girls from all over. We try to get, to make everybody happy. The Texas Department of Health has advised Tarrant County Commissioners and Sheriff Lon Evans that the county jail is not meeting minimum requirements of adequate space for prisoners. The sheriff says the overcrowding has produced jail fights and added the situation might be right for a riot. I'll say this, it's conductive to one. In other words, uh, when you have twice as many people in a cell block as uh, it was built for, there isn't facilities to eat, to bathe, toilet, walk. Uh, anything and uh, uh, the the trouble uh, when the man starts to take one away from the other well then uh, something some facility well you you've got trouble and it's uh, yes uh, that's one of the primary things that causes riots and causes fights and, and things of this thing things like this in jail is, is overcrowding condition Evans said he may have to board out prisoners in other county jails if the county commissioners do not come up with the money for additional cell space. Currently, the county jail is designed for 419 prisoners, yet over 500 have been jammed into cells this weekend. The count in the past has risen as high as 585. There aren't enough beds for everyone. Some have to sleep on mattresses on the floor. Most tanks are overcrowded from 2 to 10 prisoners or more. The commissary area doesn't provide enough space for everyone to eat at the table. Some have to sit on the floor. According to state law, the county commissioners must provide adequate space for prisoners. Sheriff Evans said he has been asking for more space for a year now. The estimated cost is over a million dollars. Of course, being in jail is never a pleasant experience under any conditions, but overcrowded quarters in Tarrant County Jail might produce some unpleasant results. Jim Green, Channel 8 News on the Move, Fort Worth. Excuse me, sir. We're Channel 8 News. Could I ask you a question? Sure. I'd like to know what you think of the coming auto insurance hike. I'm not in favor of it. Why, sir? I don't believe it's justified. It's already too high. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. I don't uh, think it should be that high, but I've been paying high insurance all the time, and Everything else is pretty high, so it doesn't shake me too much. 23% doesn't shake you? <laughs> well, since you said it that way, it does shake me a little bit. I'd like to ask what you think of the automobile insurance rate hike. I'll tell you, it's so high now that I don't think I can stand another hike. I'm, I'm bored. Why? Well, I pay too much now. I don't like it. Why, sir? Well, I believe we're paying high enough in insurance rates right now. Well, leaves you speechless? It sure does. If they do, in, in fact, intend to uh, raise the rates straight across the board on automobile insurance, gosh, what I'm paying right now I think is prohibitive. Thank you very much, sir. This gentleman speaks the mind of everyone we've talked to at Dallas North Tollway this afternoon. There's just no way to pay any more. This is Jim Mitchell, Channel 8 News on the move.
not for a coaching position. I haven't talked to anybody. I, I have to be honest that I've only talked to one person uh, regarding coaching, and I've only talked really directly with one sports writer since the, uh, uh, the announcement was made Wednesday afternoon. I did it for a reason, that I wanted to wait until uh, tonight. And uh, I, I don't know whether I'll stay in coaching. I, I don't have any idea. I, I plan on taking off some time, and, and I, I feel that I could be of some use in coaching to somebody. I, I don't feel that I'm through coaching. Are the youngsters uh, learning to ride safely? Uh, how have your instructions been going? Uh, yes, they are. They're taking to it very well, uh, a lot faster than you might expect. Uh, the first uh, two or three weeks was more or less a, a break-in period, uh, trying to get them to get the feel of the mini bikes and uh, beside do some minor uh, turns and uh, like through the traffic cones that you see behind us. And uh, they took to it very well. Uh, Tell me this, do you think the program will be a success? Oh yes, definitely. Uh, when, uh, the, when the children leave here after eight weeks, uh, I don't imagine there's very many of them that would uh, be old enough to qualify for a driver's license, but they would be ready to ride on the street very safely. The Marlin YMCA is only one of 40 YMCAs across the country that's participating in the mini bike program. Of course, the purpose of the program is to present a better community relations image for the youngsters in this community. But another advantage might be that one of the youngsters just might want to ride one of the big ones like this someday. For Channel 8 News on the Move, this is Jess Brown.